Hey guys, uh, <laughs> welcome back to another Form Check Friday. Um, we're just gonna ignore that and get right into it. So the first videos here come from Ryan Vogel. Now, Ryan Vogel sent me a number of bench videos here. The biggest thing I'm noticing immediately, uh, Ryan, is as you unrack, we're losing all the tightness in your setup. So as a general rule, I'm seeing things are rushed a little bit. Uh, there's another single here. I'm seeing things are rushed a little bit. We're pausing a good length, but we're also kind of doing a double dip before we press. The other thing I'm seeing is just sort of a lack of control overall. So I understand, and a third single, I understand that these are getting up towards, uh, you know, 100% territory, but what I'd like you to do with your sets and your, your, sorry, your work sets throughout most of your workouts is try to slow things down a little bit, be a little bit more patient, a little more controlled, and a little bit more deliberate. Um, if we go back to that first video here, where you can see from the front angle, the unrack really pops those shoulders out. So let's try to keep those shoulders back, maybe set your rack height one lower, and I think that'll go a long ways towards making you more consistent lifter. One of the biggest things with having things uh, rushed or a little bit uncontrolled can be that things become inconsistent and hard to replicate. Uh, we always want to try and make things as consistent as possible. The more variables we can eliminate, the more things we can keep from going wrong in a lift. This next video comes from Oliver. Now Oliver's doing some squats here and I notice when he unracks, and this is a tendency I see in a lot of people, but it often self-corrects throughout the movement. When he unracks, he's a little bit rounded over in the upper back, and I notice some people do that to try and keep the bar in position in a more low bar style squat. But generally, when people begin to squat, they then extend the back as they go through the range of motion, and that's, I think, what's missing here, Oliver. He says he squats very deep. He notices he gets a little bit of butt wink at the bottom, but it hasn't been painful or problematic yet. One of the things I'd like you to try, Oliver, is I'd like you to try and extend as you sit down and go through that range of motion. Uh, so as you go through the squat, let's try and get a little bit of mid back, upper back, low back, sort of global extension through that back and see. That's gonna help you gauge depth a little bit too because you're gonna get to a point where your hips are essentially going to not move anymore. Uh, and the only way you would get deeper is getting back flexion. Since your back's already in a little bit of flexion, it makes it tough because we're not limited in the hips. Uh, the back will just round essentially until you decide to come back up. So let's try and work on that. Next up, the precision engineered assistive technology literally guides you into the perfect squat form and technique. We have a video from Marcello. Now the cool thing and the, one of the reasons I wanted to include Marcello in here was because Marcello has a very, very similar issue with his conventional and his sumo deadlift. Now you'll notice him initially as he starts the pull, he rocks forward onto the, onto the toes or the balls of his feet a little bit, and that causes him to fall out of position, causes the bar to start getting away from him. You can see it here in his conventional deadlifts, a couple of reps there, and you can see as he starts, everything kind of comes forward a little bit, and you can see the same on his sumo deadlift. Again, as he starts, everything kind of rocks forward a little bit, and especially in the sumo deadlift, getting away or getting allowing the bar to get away from you like that can be a big, big uh, issue when we start to get into heavier weights, when we start to get into, you know, sort of one rep max territory. So your setup, your back angle and everything looks really, really good. The only thing I want you to do is I want you to try and get that weight on your heels a little more and keep it there as you initiate your deadlift. This next video is a competition video from Russell. Now, Russell's doing a deadlift here in a meet, and you'll see as he comes up, he kind of slides it up his thighs, his knees go out underneath it. Uh, I think a lot of this is the result of back issues. Um, Russell said he, this was a national record, and he got red lighted for it because the bar rested on his thighs as he came up. His feet are collapsed, his knees are in, and his stance is fairly wide. So what I would want you to try and do, Russell, is I want you to try to widen your stance, or sorry, narrow your stance up. I would want you to narrow your stance up, to repeat. Um, let's try and arch those feet, make sure we're gripping the floor a little bit. Let's get those knees out so there's room for your back to extend and for your hips to get into a bit of a better position. It looks like we're, we're very typical sort of loss of back position. We're getting to the top, it's really hard to get the back through, and then you're resting it on the bar so you can extend your back as you get through the top end range of motion. If we can get into a little bit of better position off the floor and maintain that position, I don't think you're gonna have that problem again. Up next, we have Nick here, 
and Nick's doing some bench pressing. Uh, very similar to Ryan's bench. As soon as we unrack, we're seeing a loss of shoulder positioning. You're having to roll the shoulders to get the bar out. So that's probably the biggest thing I would want you to work on is trying to stay tighter through the setup. Maybe get somebody to give you Maybe get somebody to give you a handoff uh, or you know, lower the rack heights so that you can unrack without having to roll the shoulders. The next thing we're seeing from Nick here is a deadlift, a deadlift video. And in this deadlift video, Nick, I think you're just sitting a little bit too low, man. Uh, I think you're kind of trying to squat it up a bit too much. Your back's in a really good position because you're squatting or, or, or in such a squat-like position. But what I want you to do is rock back onto those heels, kick that butt up behind you a little bit and try to find that tension through the posterior chain. So as you, as you bring your butt up, look for a point where you start to feel a lot, a lot of tension in the glutes, hamstrings and lats. That'll let you know where your ideal start position is without, uh, without sitting down quite so far. Next up, we have a video from Mr. Austin Phillips, and as you can see, it's a pretty rough looking deadlift. Um, it's, a, it's a similar style to like, you're looking at like a moderate style cone stance kind of thing, but super rounded back, really out of position. Now, the reason I'm showing this is because Austin went from that to this. Now, as you can see, back angle's great. He's even pausing some reps here. Um, and I just wanted to kind of show you guys, uh, Austin sent this in saying that he has been watching Form Check Friday since its inception and took it upon himself to use these videos that he had seen on the channel and in these, uh, in these videos that we do to fix his deadlift. And you can see old deadlift, new deadlift. What a difference. Uh, I'm really happy to see that. I'm super stoked for you, Austin. Uh, and I just wanted to put that in here because I think it's really cool. If you guys wanted to submit any sort of uh, success stories or any ways that uh, you know our critiques have helped or even not helped, if I've said you, if I've told you to do something uh, and it didn't work or it felt awkward or etc., feel free to send that in too because I'm, I'm always interested to get more and more feedback as we offer these hints and tips and, and that kind of stuff. So let me know how everything's working out. But good on you, Austin. That looks awesome, man. I'm super stoked for you. Next up, we have a series of videos. First up, deadlifts from G. Now, as you can tell, G is committing some sort of classic uh, mistakes with the deadlift. We're not achieving a good neutral back position. And he's on that second rep, you can really see it jerking into the bar there, uh, causing the bar to be out in front of him. Back's rounded. He's having to pull his back through at the top. So like I tell everybody, uh, you know, pull the slack out of the bar, let's be a little bit more patient off the floor, and let's get into a bit more of an extended position when you start the lift. Now, as well as those deadlifts, we also have some bench here from G. And similar issue, really sort of sloppy unrack, we're rocking the shoulders around, losing position there. Um, he says he has an issue with his feet rocking around too as he lifts. One thing that I would try there is you'll notice his feet are up, uh, he's just kind of toe picking, we call it. So what I would try to do is I would try to actually drive your heels all the way down until they're touching the ground and use those to push yourself up the bench towards your head to keep the chest up, to keep those shoulders pulled down into position and to reinforce that position throughout the entire lift. Uh, G's squats here are actually pretty good. Uh, I don't see, don't see a whole lot wrong. Don't see a whole lot wrong with these squats here. Uh, not the greatest angle, but we might be a little wide in the stance. Might be able to, to bring that in and limit things uh, collapsing a bit out of the hole. I think that's one of the reasons we hit that sticking point so hard is we're a little bit wide. We're having trouble maintaining that sort of knees over ankles position. So let's try and bring the squat stance in just a tiny bit and hopefully that helps you. Again, that's it for Form Check Friday today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and we will see you guys in the next one.